I really want to dig in with you on on signs of substance abuse because you were young when you were hitting it. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe to help the listener see for a significant other that uh, hey, th- these are some yeah. warnings, man. These are the things that pop up. Yeah. So one of the, I, I mean, for me, a lot of it started with like behaviors um, in class, class clown, trying to get attention. You know the insecurities and stuff that, that I had inside the fear of acceptance, the fear that people don't like me, that I would do over the top things to try to gain, you know, whether it was laughs, smiling on, you know, just something I was trying to, to gain from a young age, getting in trouble, um, you know, fighting. There were, there were just a lot of like, you know, certain behaviors, even before I picked up a drug that, that, you know, that you can spot for like a kid. It's a little harder for like relationships because I was like so fucked up most of my <laughs> that like you know I think when I was getting high, I mean I don't know I was getting girls that that didn't get high to drive me to do stick ups and I I don't know I was in I was in some uh, in some shit when I was using yeah but um but the obsession and the compulsiveness uh, of, of a child, which like as a parent now, like I see in my kids, I see in electronics, you know, like you take your phone or, or a tablet away from your child and they have like a meltdown. <laughs> it's like taking a bag of dope away from me. Like I'm going to flip out, <laughs> you know? Um, but that's what it was like for like, I would do things to, to the max, you know, sure. when I was playing sports, it was like, I was the last kid to leave the court after playing all night baseball you know i throw in, i throw a ball into my arm was throbbing because i wanted to get better and i wanted to be the best in like that competition um you know just to be better than the next person to be the player on whatever team i was on um and i would do everything like over the top yeah. um and then i gravitated towards like the troublemakers you know and then to be accepted by troublemakers you have to cause trouble you know right. So I, I was getting suspended in school in fifth grade. I was getting, you know, I don't know. I, I did a bunch of nonsense when I was real young. Like I was like a terrorist child. Like I feel awful because like it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't how my parents really raised me. I mean, they both worked. My father left my mother when I was young, but um, they were both like working class. So like I kind of, you know, it caused trouble on my walk to and from school, stealing from the corner store. Um, you know, for like validation from, from the people around me that like, oh, Matt's crazy. Matt will do crazy things or, 